Hey everybody, this is Seamus Aramis, and welcome back to the continuation of Let's Play Breath of Fire. Uh, in the last episode, I left off with an earthquake, and I have absolutely no idea what that might have been. Ha uh, ha. Uh. Anyway, we're heading over to Nanai to find out what that might have been. Uh, but in between episodes, I did end up going back to the first town, and I sold off all my old equipment. And then I also put a marble on, which is why I have not had any fights yet. So, sneaking into Nanai, you have to come in at night, because this lazy ass of a soldier, he will be asleep at night. Uh, during the day, he's awake, and he will keep you out of town. So, first thing you want to do, come into the inn, and... Yep, there goes my marble. And we're gonna get a strength potion! I love being able to pilfer from chests. I told you guys, every time you see one of those chests, try to open it up, there's gonna be something in it. Anyway, what you want to do in this town is kind of a Solid Snake style stealth mode, try to avoid being seen by any of the guards. Um, just because, ooh, good money. I like money. Anyway, try to avoid being seen by the guards because they will throw you out of town. Unless they're asleep, then don't worry about them. <laughs> so, you can't get into that item potion because that he's looking right at you, so. I said item potion, what am I thinking? Item shop. Anyway, can't get into the pub either because this drunken, passed out guard is uh, blocking the front door. That's a shame. Down those stairs, there's really no point going down there. That's just a, an empty dock, and there's nothing on it. But, you can go into the weapon shop. And one of the reasons why I was really excited about getting all those white deer, I can get a long sword, and look at how much stronger it is than the bronze sword. You guys, that is so going to be very, very, very helpful. But you know what? I also have enough money for silk gown, so I'm going to buy it. Even though there is absolutely no reason for Ryu to have a silk gown, maybe, I don't know, later on in the game, uh, we might get a party member of the female persuasion? Oh, uh, maybe? Who knows? Anyway, yeah, because Ryu can't use it. As I said earlier, he is not a crossdresser. That's a cape, not a dress. So, uh... We're going to sneak in to this big dragon shrine looking uh, temple kind of thing and find out what's going on downstairs. There's no point looking around in the first floor or the floor above it. There's nothing in there. Um, and I'm going to throw on a marble right away because I don't feel like fighting any guys. Yeah, exactly. Um, what you guys want to start off doing is head to the right, and you will get an antidote. Antidotes, if you're not using marbles, are going to be very helpful in this dungeon, because we see pea bugs again. I hate pea bugs. Pea bugs are those bugs that I didn't get to show you guys in the previous episode, because I hate them that much. Oh, good money. That's going to be helpful, because we're broke after buying a dress. Damn dresses are expensive. I don't know how you ladies do it. Anyway, um, I hate pea bugs with a passion because I hate being poisoned. Because when you get poisons, you take one HP of damage. Yeah, I thought there was a chest over here. You take one HP of damage for every step you take. Ooh, a bee stone. I'll go over that in a bit. But anyway, you take one HP of damage for every single step that you take while you're poisoned outside of battles. That is not good when you only have 53 HP. Um, and early in the game, yeah, poisoning can be pretty devastating. So that's why I do have as many antidotes as I do, but I knew I'd be using marbles all the time, so I'm not that really, I'm really not that worried about it. Anyway, let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, an arm pad. Okay, let's see arm pad any stronger? You bet it is. And then my marble wore off, so I'm going to put on another one. Um, bee stones. I didn't go over that. That's right. Uh, bee stone that is called the bolt stone. Bolt stones are... Ooh, money. Give me... Bolt stones are items that you can use in battles. They do a set um, specified damage. It's kind of like an elemental-based attack. Um, kind of a 
magic attack, it's a bolt attack. Um, and then in this chest is a firestone. You can do a fire-based attack. I believe there's also another type of stone, cold stone, um, which does an ice attack. I can't remember which one of them are the strongest and which one's the weakest. I genuinely... I... It's been a while since I've played, so I have no idea even how much damage it does, but I do know that I'm going to be using them so you guys get to see what it looks like. So, double staircase. Ooh, let's head down the double staircase. That's usually a good sign that we're getting closer to the end of the dungeon. At least in early dungeons it is. And, oh, what's this guy doing? Who disturbs my privacy? I'm taking over the world with this machine, and no one can stop me. Uh, what a bet. <laughs> So, let's just hack away at this guy. Now, look at the kind of damage that I'm doing right now. Imagine doing that with the bronze sword. Or imagine this battle with the bronze sword. You would be hurting, which is why I love saving up the money so that I can get that. Oh, Jesus, he's using a strong attack right away. Um, I was gonna say, don't let yourself stay below 20 HP because of that attack. Um... He will fry you, and you will be destroyed, and you don't want that to happen. So as soon as you hit um, teens, or well, rather 20 or below, heal yourself up. So make sure that you have enough herbs to go into this battle, especially. Oh Jesus, he's hit me again. Um, especially if you didn't get the um, longsword, because this battle will take a lot longer if you're just chipping away, like, 8 damage or something, I don't know. Or you could level up more than I have. That's also an option, too. Um, I probably could have done that, but yeah, I'm lazy, so. I even did it off-screen, and I'm still lazy. Jeez. Um, I'm back below 20 HP, so I gotta heal myself up again. And, uh, just keep hacking away at him. Once his health gets into the purple range, um, he is like that. Oh, Jesus, another Thunderbolt. Um, he is able to do a recover attack. Well, not an attack, rather. But he's able to recover his HP when he's in the purple health. So you kind of want to try to avoid, um, long, drawn-out battles when he's recovering himself all the frickin' time. Jesus Christ. Okay. Heal up immediately, please. Um, so what I'm intentionally doing is... Wow! He is spamming that attack like crazy. That's insane. Anyway, what I like to do is saving these stones until he gets down to the critical. See? He's already using it. So that's exactly why I don't like that. But save these stones until he gets down to the part where he can start recovering himself. And you can get him so low that he can't really recover all too often. And then you can... Yeah, exactly. Got him. So, uh... I'm gonna heal myself up. Even though that I'm above 20, but I just don't want to die. Um... Now, he hit his second wins, and... I have no idea how I managed to not explain second wins at the last boss battle, but um, with bosses, they have quote-unquote second wins. Yeah, slammed for the death, that's right. Um, bosses have second wins, and it shows no health, so you just keep hacking away at them. Let's see, how could this be? I've been defeated. Arg! And he explodes. Um, we'll take a look and see what's going on with this machine in the next episode, but I'm going to leave it off here. So this has been Seamus Aramis. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.